What the heck is going on boys and girls? My name is No Mercy Merc. I am here to show you exactly how to split all your audio in Streamlabs OBS. That's it. No fluff. Let's just get right into it. If you guys think you can benefit from an OBS guide instead of a Streamlabs guide, uh, leave a comment down below and I can make another video like this. Firstly, if you do have any questions after watching this video, you can stop by my Twitch. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, 7.30 p.m. EST. Uh, I also have a discord both links will be down in the description below. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get into it I'm gonna go ahead and start by showing you the end result so that you don't have to waste your time with this whole Tutorial if this isn't exactly what you want to get out of it So I'm gonna jump over to Premiere Pro and show you exactly what the recording is gonna look like at the end of all this So what I went ahead and did was I dropped a pre-recorded VOD in here that has five different audio tracks this is exactly what you're going to come out with and let's go ahead and give it a listen. At first listen, you're going to actually hear an echo and I'll explain that in a second. How you doing? What's up, man? I'm currently streaming. So you can hear it sounds a little bit robotic, but the reason for that is because this track one is actually a duplicate of all the other audio tracks. That's because audio one is the audio that's actually being pushed out to your stream. If you go ahead and mute that in your recording, it'll sound perfect. How you doing? What's up, man? I'm currently... So the way that each of these tracks are broken out is that A2 is my desktop audio, A3 is my microphone, A4 is Spotify, and A5 is actually my Discord. So if we go ahead and listen, I'll mute each individual one to show you what I mean. How you doing? What's up, man? I'm... So I can go ahead and mute my mic. Dude, hello. I can mute Discord. So all you can hear now is my music playing. And I can go ahead and mute my music. Sadly, there's no desktop audio in this uh, clip to show you, but trust me, if I muted that, I wouldn't hear like my game or my YouTube web page or anything like that. So besides showing you the end result, I also want to show you what it's going to look like in Streamlabs OBS in terms of your meters on the right bottom hand side. So let's jump over there. So within Streamlabs OBS down here in the bottom right, you have this mixer section where you'll see each audio track in their respective meters. So typically all you would see down here is desktop and microphone, but down here we have Spotify. This is exactly what you're gonna end up with after this whole process. I can show you exactly how it works. So when I play Spotify, you see it down here instead of you would typically see it in the desktop section. So if I go ahead and pause that and I go play a YouTube now? video. Now, why now? I'm in, I'm in just chat. You see that that shows up in desktop. So you can actually Adding play both of these at the same time. You and you see they're on separate tracks. And that's exactly how they're going to be published once you actually finish the recording too. Additional to those three splits, you can also see that I have a Discord one down here. And I'll show you exactly how to set that up as well. So now that you've made it to this point in the video, you're going to know exactly what you're going to get by the end of it. So stick around. We'll go through the step-by-step -step process. First and foremost, you're going to have to download three applications. The first one's Voice Meter Banana, the second one is Audio Router, and the third one is VB Cable. All three links will be down in the description below. Go ahead and download those and then come right back to the video. After you have those three downloaded, the first one you're going to want to run is the VB Cable. You're going to right click run as administrator. You'll hit yes. And then this little box will pop up. That is literally all you have to do. You can go ahead and exit out of this. And now you're able to use VB cable. Next, you're going to want to open up voice meter banana. Go ahead and open it. I already have one open here. When you initially open up voice meter banana, nothing's going to be selected for anything. You'll see select input device for hardware input one, two, three, and you'll also see nothing selected for hardware output, either a one, a two or a three. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to left click on hardware input one. You'll see a list of all your options. You're going to want to select your microphone that you're using to record your audio. You're going to, you're going to see all these letters to the left hand side. You're going to want to select WDM. That's the highest quality one. So go ahead and select your microphone there. Second, you're going to want to select your cable output. That's the VB audio virtual cable. You're also going to want to select WDM on that one as well so that they're synced up. For A1 hardware output over here on the right, you're going to want to select whatever speaker or headset you use to listen to your audio coming from your computer. And it's that simple. Additionally, over here, you're going to want to just select B1. You can select A1 if you want to hear yourself through your headset, but it is a slight delay, so it can throw you off sometimes. And you're going to want to select A1 and B1 for hardware input too. Two last little things about voice meter banana is you actually need to go down to your windows setting, do open sound settings, and then set your choose audio device to voice meter input. That's the VAIO right there. So select that 
exit out, you're good with that. And then the last little thing is just helpful on startup so that you don't need to start up voice banana every single time is you hit menu here and you wanna select system tray run at startup. And that's it, you're done with voice meter banana. That's it, you can minimize it and you're good to go. And lastly, you're gonna to wanna to run audio router as administrator. So right click run as administrator. You'll hit yes and then you'll see this screen. What we wanna do is we wanna actually move Spotify or whatever our music is coming from over to uh, aux input for voice meter. So what we're gonna have to do, first of all, you'd have to open up Spotify, make sure that it plays a sound for a second. That way it'll actually populate here. Here, I can actually show you guys that. So I'll close Spotify, this will go away. So no Spotify, I'd have to open up Spotify. Once open, I would have to play music and then boom, Spotify opens up right here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is left click, hit route and change this device to the aux, voice meter aux V-A-I-O. That is it, hit okay. Boom, once you play it again, it'll go ahead and jump over to the aux meter. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna split the audio track so that it's not grouped into your default. That's exactly what we want. And, and we're ready to go, that is, that's basically it. So now we're gonna jump over Streamlabs OBS to complete the, uh, the setup process. First thing you do when you get into Streamlabs is you're gonna wanna go to the bottom left-hand side gear icon to open up your settings. You're gonna wanna go to the audio tab and then you're gonna wanna set device one as voice meter V-A-I-O, voice meter input, not the aux, just the input as device one. Device two is the aux version of it. So you're gonna go ahead and select that. And lastly, your mic device one is gonna be your microphone, just your standard microphone. That's it. Hit done, perfect. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna put each one of these audio tracks on different tracks. As of right now, they're going through all audio tracks, all one through six that Streamlabs supports. So you're gonna to go to the mixer section, the gear icon, select that. It'll open up your mixer settings. What you're gonna wanna do is make sure that one is selected for every single audio source. And then for the sources that you wanna split out, so desktop, microphone, Spotify, and Discord in my case, you wanna make sure that they're all on different audio tracks without duplicating the same one. So you wanna make sure desktop set to two, microphone set to three, Spotify set to four, Discord set to five. And then you can go ahead and exit out of that. So then last but not least, you wanna go back into the main settings of Streamlabs. You're gonna to wanna to go to the Output tab, and then on the Stream tab, under Advanced Output Mode, you're gonna to wanna to select Audio Track 1. Why Audio Track 1? Because that is the one we selected that all the audio goes through. And then when you go over to Recording, what you can do is you can select the audio tracks that you wanna include. For us, we don't actually need to include six because uh, our last audio track stops at Discord on five. So you can go ahead and hit done. And then as soon as you're done recording your first time, it'll split all of those audio tracks perfectly. They'll be in sync, but they'll all be separate. So the last addition that we have to do is actually include Discord. So to include Discord, you actually need to add it as a source within each scene. So you're gonna wanna hit the plus sign. You're gonna hit audio output capture. Don't hit audio input capture, hit audio output capture. Once you select that, add source. I already have Discord added. I'll add a new one to show you guys. You're gonna wanna select cable input, VB audio virtual cable. That was the virtual cable that we set up earlier. You're just gonna select that, hit done, Boom, your Discord will actually show up down here now. You can rename this Discord if you want. And the very last step here is to jump over to Discord, go into the settings, go to voice and video, and in the output devices, select cable input, VB audio virtual cable. And once you select that, escape, you're good to go. Boys and girls, that is basically it. All, all jam-packed into one video. If you do have any questions, make sure to stop by my Twitch. Once again, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday at 7.30 p.m. EST. And also the Discord, also link in the description, you know. If this video did help you in any way, shape, or form, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. You know, subscribe if you want to support. It means the world to me. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out. Glad I could help you. Peace.